Welcome back to The Breakfast. Now to move on to other stories uh, this morning, rapper Kanye West has conceded defeat in the United States presidential election after getting only 57,000 votes in 12 states. But he vowed to run again in 2024. He took to Twitter to share a photo of himself posing in front of an electoral map and wrote, Welp, Kanye, uh, 2024. Voting for the first time in a U.S. presidential election, Kanye revealed he voted for himself and wrote his own name along with his vice presidential pick, Michelle Tidball, on the ballot in Wyoming. We have our own entertainment presenter, Ifeo Mai, here in the studio to help us, um, you know, get a sense of what's been said uh, in the entertainment uh, industry. Thank you for joining us on The Good Breakfast morning. this morning. Good morning, Ifeo Mai. So, what, what is the sentiment around Kanye West? First off, he drops off, and then mm. he says he's coming back again in mm. 2024. Yeah, I mean, he's always been in the loop around telling us when he wants to participate in presidential elections. He's done that at least, I think, five years ago. He said he wanted to run in 2020, so it's not a surprise. Um, it's good to mention that the fact that when you were reading out the story, and you said he wrote his name. He wrote his name because he wasn't even actually on the ballot box. He wow, couldn't, wow, wow. <laughs> he didn't reach the deadline okay, for the, his state in Wyoming, so... It's been very interesting to see the lackadaisical character, um, um, attitude that he has towards the election, which is why it is easy to believe the controversial um, narrative that's happening right now, saying that he's just a distraction to um, Joe Biden's um, uh, presidential journey. He, he, he got uh, 57,000 votes. That's, 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 that's quite substantial, the number. really. I, I mean, that's like still 0% of the population. <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's, it's something that there are people who think that Kanye West could be the president of Six, the United 60, States. 60,000 people, actually. 57,000 yeah. people. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> to make it more precise. I mean, I, I, I know that he has influence. We're not going to take that away from him. He's about 19 and counting um, award winner for Grammys. He's been in the game. His fashion, industry, um, fashion business runs wild. He's a trendsetter, so he does have influence. To be honest, I think if he had a lot more seriousness to this presidential can, um, campaign, he could have gotten more numbers. That but he, he got, was yeah. a bit unserious. And uh, you could, I mean, his wife is saying that there's a lot of mental issues going on with him. Yeah, we're just so. going to bring that up. You know, how have, uh, you know, the incidents in the last few months in his uh, marital life and his personal life also affected his uh, chances of running for president? Does, do, did everyone just just look at it as a big joke. I think I think we did because even his campaign, um, uh, what, what, the manifestos that he's been giving are very off. He's been saying a lot of offensive things. So as as a black man, obviously, of his first target audience will be the black community, um, and he's not really won them it's over. It's interesting to see the demography of those who voted for Kanye West, but that probably be in another um, uh, conversation. But let's look at the celebrities who are likely to tow this part. We'll come to Nigeria in a bit, but mm -hmm. who are those big names? that, I mean, in the entertainment industry that people see they have potential to make an attempt to bear for such exalted office. I mean, I, I, would, I would think that this would give a lot of people the backbone to want to do such a thing. But I think American politics is just a lot more serious than that. Uh, Kanye West in the entertainment space, we, we, he refers himself as a god and you can see that his ego is larger than life. But there's not a lot of people that fit into that category. So we haven't really seen that many celebrities um, make, make wave that part because it's a lot more um, serious and not everyone takes the attitude that he does. But if we're going to bring it back home to Nigeria, I think we've seen quite a lot of that. Not, maybe not a lot, but we've seen a few people trend from you know, being, into the, being in the entertainment industry and crossing over their influence to the, to the political industry. A good name that comes up in my, my mind is Banky W, who did pretty well. I mean, he lost his campaign, but he's still very much involved in politics and using his voice where he can. Another person is Desmond Elliott, who has been really um, popular on the, on the Twitter streets um, lately. Um, but, but even pe in terms of having influence to want to consider going into politics, I think the person that comes on top of my mind is also Fowles. I think with the NSAS movement, Fowles has been very, very involved with the politics. I mean, he does have a political background. His father is a, I mean, it's Fallon, yeah. for, for goodness sake. Yeah, so um, I, think, I think we might be looking at maybe someone like him going into politics. I think even Two Fists as well is helped with a lot of reforms, although, although sometimes he backs out and then comes back in again. But we've seen quite a few people get more involved with that. So I'm hoping that there's more of that. Let me, let me also ask, from your opinion, do you think Kanye would have made a great president? 
Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> you know Why what? not? <laughs> I mean, if America voted for Donald Trump, exactly. and so, even now, you can see the narrow uh, margin of win uh, mm -hmm. between him and mm -hmm. Biden. We, there is no conclusive figure yet. Yeah. Um, uh, it, you know, anything is possible I'm in not, America, some people say. So uh, with um, the fear of not <laughs> sounding like I am a Trump supporter, I think we're, giving, we're, we're not giving enough credit to Trump. Trump has been in the business um, seen for a long time. He's done a lot of stuff. He's been able to build empires, maybe with a lot of privilege, yes, but he's been able to build empires and he's been in, he's put his, his hands dirty. Kanye has also Kanye built has also an been. empire uh, for himself. I, he excelled in the music well. industry. He is a businessman who Kanye owns a is, fashion brand. I think Kanye he has is. a wife who has a fantastic... Kanye is a yeah. performer <laughs> with a lot of charisma <laughs> and his talent has been able to give him mon uh, monumental um, uh, monetary resources mm -hmm. to be able to set up some things. Do that he put his hands dirty? I don't know. I, I don't, well, I don't know about that. But do you also think the sanctity of the White House has also been, you know, watered down Absolutely. with, um, of course, with all respect to Donald Trump, but a lot of people call him celebrity in chief, not even mm. commander in chief. Mm. Um, do you think that that has watered down so much that we now have someone like Kanye Absolutely. and would have even more people think, oh, if Donald Trump can win it, then why not? Oh, look. I mean, we have, we've had um, Tiger King, who's another big name in the celebrity in, in the entertainment industry that ran for president as well. Like, we've had quite a lot of people. Kanye West is not, is not the first person, but we can say that it started when Donald Trump got into the sea. Uh, it does that to you. And we, we've seen how he walked with Donald Trump. He was an, a, a big endorser of Donald Trump for the last four years. I mean, this is Kanye West now. So there's a lot of influence to that. And I'm, I'm guessing if he, he saw himself in Kanye, I mean, he... Well, Trump and, is also and, a performer. when it comes to America, yeah. anything is possible. Yeah. Uh, after all, they say it's the land of the free now. Land of the free. Oh, yes. <gasps> Thank you very much, Pomai, for coming on The Breakfast Thank this morning. for having me. Yeah. Does anybody know the um, SWAT song? <laughs> What's what? How, how is that relevant no, right now? It it's just been in, playing in my head all morning. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Air Force let's... them, they do shakara. Nobody knows the end. No. They never know so what. Okay, they never, never know so what. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.